Hello everyone, this is Uzumachi speaking and welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time episode 34. In our last episode we finally beat the dragon Volvagia and uh, returned the mountain to normal. I came back to um, Kakariko village because I noticed that I had um, 30 over 30 uh, spider tokens. And this is basically the last important item that you're gonna get from these guys. Later on, they're just they're just gonna give you um, not very important things, at least not that I remember. So here's the giant's wallet. What I wanted. Um. So yeah, I'm gonna be uh, skipping to the place that I'm supposed to go. So see you guys there. Okay. So. Um, I could have gone all the way to Sora's Domain, but this is the first time that we're going to be seeing around here these, uh, the result of a magic being seven years later. It turns into this uh, thing that it's kind of floating and stuff, so yeah. Sometimes it serves as a shortcut sometimes to reach unreachable things, and uh, so yeah. I'll be planting the rest of the seeds later on when I get back into the to the past. But for now, I'm just focusing to get the water temple done first, and then I'll go back and do a couple of things. So basically, we do the same thing. We go back into Sora's domain, and we'll see what happens around here. If you talk to Navi, she says that she feels a breeze coming from the Soros River. And as you can see, Soros is frozen. Hmm. Like Titus said from Final Fantasy X, we got out from the frying pan and into the freezer. <laughs> so yeah, that's basically what's going on. Uh, right now we can't talk to anyone because as you can see, the King Sora is frozen. So we're just going to be heading out to find a solution back here. Um, don't ask me where Lord Habu Habu or Jabu Jabu is. Um, sometimes I like to assume that he's dead, <laughs> but I don't know. Nowhere to be found and not even mentioned. So. Uh, there's a piece of heart over there. These uh, ice blocks are kind of sensitive, so if you get on the side, sometimes you will, might might not be able to. And it's going to be slippery from now on. As I said in my uh, Mega, Man, uh, Mega Man X uh, walkthrough, I don't like water uh, stages from any game ever. And I'll be honest, even with this game, I hate water, um, the water temple. I just don't like uh, to submerge into the water so many times. And especially, uh, for example, we're going to be getting an item here that we're going to have to be using over and over again. And it requires you to pause the game many times, but you'll see that later on. Uh, so I'm gonna be emptying my bottles. I don't think I'll need all of them, but I'll just empty all of them for now. And still, we can get fairies later. So yeah. And do 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 do. Four bottles, huh? Hmm. Well, I highly, I highly doubt I'll use all of them, but whatever. <laughs> it's not like I'll need fairies from now on. I seriously highly doubt that I'll get defeated. I was kind of rusty back in the forest temple, but I guess I can handle myself now. But still, I like to carry fairies. So these guys will freeze you if you don't kill them enough, uh, quickly enough. Not that it's going to kill you, but you know, it's kind of annoying to get frozen over and over again so yeah oh and those things that roll around uh, the game doesn't tell you but if you roll you will evade um, getting cut by them uh, perhaps this is a glitch I don't know 
So this thing is uh, easy to avoid. You just, uh, you know, you crouch and you don't get cut. Even though it looks like it's uh, cutting your head. <laughs> Not sure if it's a glitch. I highly doubt it's a glitch. Oh yeah, and you can see that there's a spider, but you know me, I already got what I wanted, so no more, sp no more spiders for me. I think there are one, two, three, three spiders that I remember around this place, so. And of course, I forgot to mention, when you want to make sure that you got all spiders from a, from a place, you just pause the game and look at the map. If the map has the spider token symbol on it, means means that you got all spiders from that area. So that's something you gotta know if you wanna go um, spider hunting. And for example, if the the if the spider symbol it's not in a place in the map in the world map, and you think you have them all, then you gotta understand that it also counts inside dungeons of that area or temples. So as long as there's uh, everything is not done, uh, then then it will always be like they're still missing. But you know, Ugh. I'm gonna have to kill these bats because they're just gonna keep freezing me up. Uh, they're not close. Whoa! I'm a sniper. <laughs> Yeah, I know what this blue flame is. Thank you for your concern. <laughs> These bats are a bit more annoying than the fire bats, since they're uh, being feed by the blue flame, which is a flame of ice. It will be strange to think that a flame that freezes is gonna help you melt things. Um. Okay, I'm not gonna be analyzing these things because this is uh, this is a fantasy game, so please. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to analyze the situation, but it's not gonna help. No. <laughs> so yeah, this is the the same thing that it's um, covering uh, King Sora. So be sure to always uh, carry extra fire on you, even if you don't need it, so that when we get out of here. We're gonna be melting the ice from him. Uh, this one right here, you don't even need to melt the ice. All you need to do is to... Let's see. Oh, I can do it with my arrows, I believe. Yeah, there are a couple of rounds that you don't even have to even bother. There we go. <laughs> 50 rupees inside and I'm gonna kill this guy for no reason cuz ah, trying to kill him I get hurt nice <laughs> so off we go we got the blue flame so now we can melt the red walls die <laughs> Oh. Okay, so we gotta melt this wall first. So, in we go, and this is all the time I have. This has been Usumaji speaking. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.